usually at least the first rotation, sometimes the first two rotations, if the spring starts at a normal time of the year. Uh, we will kind of use a, the grazing stick to get our eyes readjusted. Over the winter, you kind of start to lose your ability to really measure grass, and things change from year to year as well. In the case of this spring, everything was very, very slow to start. Grass was thin, and it, it just wasn't, it wasn't there like it normally is. So in that case, first time or two, first rotation or two, uh, we, we do use the grass to kind of aid us in, in getting our, our brains used to looking at grass and our eyes used to looking at grass and clover. Uh, once we get through that and you get comfortable with the rotation, we usually don't necessarily bring the stick with us. Uh, at that point, it becomes a little more important to either start a calendar to be, you know, so you can count your days between the rotation and, and also uh, use a grazing wedge. That's, that's the ideal way to really keep track of of when and how much grass you're consuming and, and how you're doing it. When I walk into a pasture and eyeball it, say mid, mid to late spring and, and through the summer, the first thing I look at is always height and species. Most of our pastures, we're looking at a lot of uh, orchard grass, a lot of reds and white clovers, some rye grass. So when I walk into a pasture, like I said, I first I look at height. Um, in the case of a lot of pastures, your height may vary if, if your average height is six inches, you could see grass that's four where they overgrazed last time, and it could be as high as a foot. The pasture that I'm standing in now goes from, say, four inches up to, I see orchard grass that if you stood the leaves up would probably be 14 inches tall. Once I've kind of assessed the average height, I then walk around and I look for dirt, essentially. I walk my feet through and just see how much grass and clover is kind of coming over my feet. If you can see a lot of dirt, you know that you would actually be seeing dots on your stick. So that just kind of relates in that manner. Uh, being that most of our pastures are mainly orchard grass and clover, I kind of just remember the dry matters per inch based on experience. So if it's, if it's a mid height and kind of a mid density, I know that I'm going to be looking somewhere in that say two to 250 pound range. If it's extremely thick, I know that you can maybe bump those numbers up to 300. Or on the opposite side, if you're in a pasture where it hasn't been fertilized for the season, or it's, it's just not there yet, or it's not as good as other pastures, you might want to bring your estimate back to as low as 150, just so that you know you're not going to get your cows hungry, especially on a night grazing when you can't necessarily go out and give them a break in the middle of the night. During the day, it's a little more forgiving because you can push them a little harder on less acreage, still go out and give them a break, and then they'll still have enough feed for the day.